have gone from playing um, very small gigs over the years, like very small, begging people to come, to playing, you know, these festivals where it's just like flooded with people. Um, it's, a it's a great feeling. It's, yeah, it's incredible. Red, 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 ready, set, and begin. Every day has just been um, a whirlwind. Like, it's, it's hard to explain. Like, you can't prepare yourself for it because you don't actually know it, it, when it's gonna happen or if it's gonna happen. So I've just got to do so many amazing things. So every now and then I try and like sit back and enjoy it and not let it sort of just, um, yeah, I, I kind of want it to last as long as it as it can. Splendor was is a very hard um, feeling to explain because it's you know it, like my set time I was sort of mentally preparing for you know some people but not um, as many people as there was so it was breathtaking. It was you know like I've gone from playing um, very small gigs over the years like very small begging people to come to playing, you know, these festivals where it's just like flooded with people. Um, it's, a it's a great feeling. It's, yeah, it's incredible. Obviously when I wrote Adore, yeah, there wasn't, like I honestly thought maybe 11 people would hear it, like the same people that I've been showing my music to. Um, and I was at a stage where I wasn't promoting myself that much, like I'd kind of given up. But yeah, since Adore, um, I've been trying not to let any pressure sort of get to me because it's taken me a really long time to acknowledge it but I, I do I do believe that I'm a strong songwriter and got such a big catalogue of songs that I've been waiting to to work with great producers you know and not just be like sort of producing them myself at home or anything like that so it's I'm excited more than anything I'm just so excited to actually go and work with these producers in these you know beautiful studios and giving these songs life the life that I think they deserve so everything's changed um, yeah like I'm not used to this life I had like a job that I, I really liked actually like I loved working in film and then you know but this was always my first passion like music was always my my number one thing having the EP out is great because for so long yeah door came out but I'm like I always knew that I had all these songs and um, yeah, it just feels good to have like a full body of work out there and then obviously when the album comes out it's gonna feel even better. Drive You Mad, um, I think it's my favourite because I was really, I was really honest when I wrote this song. It was a day that I remember, um, you know, I, I actually had already written a door. Um, nothing had happened, but door hadn't been released. I was just on a massive songwriting binge. Um, and I wrote Drive You Mad and in a, in a, in a mind frame of like, um, I was tired, I was working full time, I was playing cover gigs at, at, at pubs, which I hated. Um, I didn't hate the pubs, I just I hated playing covers. Um, and I just remember being so emotionally drained and I was, it was just a day that I was taking everything out on everyone. I was blaming everyone and then I, I was just playing there like I do all the time and then Drive You Mad just came out in a way that was like, I finally realised it's, it's me, like I'm not easy, I'm not an easy person to be around all the time. No one is, but this particular day I was like, this is unfair, I've been unfair today to people and they don't deserve it. And um, even the way Drive You Mad is written and the song I'm just really proud of it. Like it's there's melodies in there and things that I wouldn't normally tackle. Um, and even the, the start of it with the siren, it's so alarming and it's like, it's exactly what I wanted the song to be. I wanted to, people to feel comfortable and then I wanted people to feel anxious and a bit um, disruptive during the song. It's like a real push and pull song. Um, yeah, it turned out exactly how I wanted it. So. My head's never been up in the clouds, I guess. So because I'd been writing songs for so long and the music industry had kind of defeated me in a way, I was like, it's been this long and I've, you know, I, I haven't made any waves or anything yet. So, um, but I was always going to write songs. I was never stopping my writing. Um, but it wasn't, I guess it wasn't until um, A Door Came Number Two in the Hot, Triple J Hot 100. Um, that was when I was like, okay this is this is real and, and people are, are connecting with this song and it's, it's got an audience and 
um, you know, even when I was on the road, I, I was doing a tour, like my first tour with Cup Sport, um, and Adore was just sort of picking up and the countdown hadn't happened. I, was, I still had my job and I was working on the road, cutting videos and then putting them in the Dropbox at night. And like, it was so hard because I just wasn't, I wasn't sure. I wasn't like, I, don't, I didn't know what, the, what was right or, you know, it took me a long time to sign a record deal and it took me a long time to sign management. And not that I couldn't, I, could, I, I had plenty of offers. It was just what's right and what's wrong and like, you know, what's the best move for me. So I'm just glad that I, I took that time and I feel like I've got really great people around me and, um, but yeah. <laughs>